Ah, Mass Effect. The three, and only three, Mass Effect games that released and had phenomenal characters and amazing third-person shooting. Since there hasn't been a Mass Effect game since Mass Effect 3, I need something to fill that gap in my gaming life. So now I'm proud to share the first ever look at... Exodus. It would mean the world if you gave this video a like. Liking helps YouTube share my videos to new people. And if you are returning, subscribe for more gaming videos and reviews in the future. Right, let's go. You know, Exodus Become the Traveler has the potential to come out of nowhere and shock the gaming world. Exodus got some attention at the Game Awards, but a lot of people, including myself, when we saw that trailer, didn't know the true importance and the awesomeness this game can deliver. So once I googled this game, I began to understand. This is more than just another space game. So, Archetype Entertainment is a new company full of a bunch of the developers who made Mass Effect. They broke away from Bioware to start their own game company and to have total creative freedom. It's also got former developers of the Halo games and ex-developers from Naughty Dog, Uncharted, Last of Us. The original writer for Mass Effect, Drew Karpishin, is writing Exodus. He wrote Liara to Sony to give you a wee example of how important he is for that Mass Effect franchise. My hype went from that looks cool to the most hyped game for me right now. The two heavy hitters of Archetype, James Olin and Chad Robertson broke away from Bioware, started their own company to have total creative freedom and make any game they want. For Exodus, Wizards of the Coast who own Dungeons and Dragons gave Archetype absolutely millions of dollars to make this game. It's a massive AAA sci-fi epic being made by a lot of the original team that were behind the original Mass Effect trilogy. And most people are still not aware of what this game actually is. So I've been watching interviews with the game developers and the more I watch them talk about Exodus, this is Mass Effect's spiritual successor. This is going to be a brand new IP new characters, new storylines, but it's aiming directly at us Mass Effect fans secretly. Even the few seconds of gameplay shown at the Game Awards, you can see it's a third person shooter and the playable character has two squad mates with him. Seems familiar that somehow, hmm, subscribe. I only played Mass Effect for the first time a year ago. I played the Legendary Edition and I had such a joy playing it. All three games are incredible, especially Mass Effect 2 for me. The opening 10 minutes of Mass Effect 2 is my favourite opening of any game ever made. The entire trilogy is just an incredible achievement, but nowadays the gaming industry is way bigger than it was back when Mass Effect originally released. There are millions of gamers out there who have never played Mass Effect that were not gaming when Mass Effect released and have no idea how good it is. I was one of them for a very, very long time. So now, a lot of the original developers behind those games are making this. And even the Game Award reactions I've seen, most streamers are like, that looks pretty cool, but still there's not that much attention being given to Exodus. Not as much as there should be, and that's the secret weapon. I think this game is going to come out and be the dark horse of the gaming industry. I think it will catch everyone by surprise and word of mouth will push this game to great heights. If you watch the interview IGN did with the two lead developers of Exodus, you can see them literally geeking out and stopping themselves from spoiling the game. They are excited about this game, they are passionate about it. Let's compare that to the polar opposite, a game called Starfield. I liked Starfield, right? I liked it. It was good fun for what it was. However, everyone and their mums knew that game was coming out because they made Skyrim and Fallout. There was tons of hype surrounding Starfield and it had a lot to live up to. It was Xbox's big game last year. 
Exodus become the Traveller, nowhere near as much hype around it. But that's because the people out there don't know the same writer for Mass Effect 1 and 2 is writing this. Brace yourself gamers. And judging by how Mass Effect 2 is probably still the greatest space game ever made. Like, we haven't had like a mega hit space game. One that was universally beloved by 99.9% .9 of the gamer community since Mass Effect. Lots of people like Starfield, but everybody loves Mass Effect. Go watch people reacting to the Mass Effect 4 trailer from a couple years back. They are crying their eyes out watching it. And Exodus is secretly Mass Effect 4 in disguise, as close as you're going to get. Archetype Entertainment are about to swoop in under the radar and get all the money because I believe this is going to be an incredible space game. There's loads of little interviews on Archetype's YouTube channel, little shorts, with the developers and as I said, there's that brilliant interview they did with IGN during the Game Awards where the more they talk, they're secretly saying, if you loved Mass Effect, you'll love this. This is literally Mass Effect, guys. So in Exodus, you get to create your own character, a voiced character. You will meet a lot of amazing companions that will travel with you on a spaceship. That this is a game that is heavily about the relationships you have with your companions and role playing with them is a huge selling point of Exodus. The villains in this are the Celestials, who are way more technologically advanced than the humans are, which is like the Reapers. Even the characters are looking for ancient technologies from a past alien race that was around thousands of years before humans, like the Protheans in Mass Effect. They were literally asked, what other sci-fi works served as inspirations for you? And they said, Interstellar, Dune, and... We've also drawn from some of the IPs we've worked on in the past, and we've worked on quite a few IPs, like Mass Effect. Well, they didn't say that bit, but you know, that, that's what they mean. They even have Matthew McConaughey as the big celebrity actor, who looks like he's going to play a world leader, mentor your character in Exodus, like Martin Sheen in Mass Effect 2. Archetype's marketing strategy. How can we say it's Mass Effect without the words... Mass Effect being said so we don't get sued by Bioware. Hopefully some little YouTuber out there can piece together our clues and tell everyone for us. Oh yes, Ross, your beauty, subscribe to him now, he's brilliant. Imagine if Mass Effect came out today. We had never played it. With today's technology, it would blow everyone's minds. That's what this game, I believe, is going to do. The amount of gamers out there that have never touched Mass Effect are going to be introduced to that style of game and I cannot wait to play it whenever it releases. This is how under the radar this game is. I'm making a video on it. Me! I tactically try to make videos to avoid getting squashed by the big YouTubers. You see a Baldur's Gate 3 video on this channel yet? No! So I literally went, there's no one making videos on this game. Nice, thanks, I'll do it, cool. So there you go, viewer. Thank goodness for me, yeah? That one YouTuber out there that spotted your lack of Exodus content. I got you, you saw it. So comment down below. Are you excited for Exodus? Like and subscribe for more gaming videos and reviews. And for you lot that need more of me in your life, check out my Monday Madness podcast on Spotify. Everyone, there's a song and everything. It's like a sketch show as a podcast. It's great. But there you are. Have a nice day and I'll see you later on. Bye-bye.